Today, we want to look at these two words in the Torah. And this is uh, Asaph talking, Esau. And he's complaining because in two instances, he's been rejected. The Bechorah, the birthright, and the Bracha, the blessing. And he's very upset that he's rejected in the birthright department and he's rejected in the blessing department. And Yaakov has supplanted him and elbowed him out by Mirma. And that means deceit. So we're going to pan around here and we're going to move. We're going to come around. We're going to look at, the, at, at this Torah scroll. And we're going to look at, at, at uh, Voracious chapter 27. And we're going to look at verse 36. And he says, is he not rightly called Yaakov? Shemo Yaakov. Uh, because he has deceived me. He's outwitted me these two times. He's supplanted me. He's taken away my my Bechorah, my birthright, and my Brocha, my blessing. And friend, we want to talk to you about this because you may feel at this season of the year, you know, the 24th of December is Hanukkah. And Hanukkah goes for eight days till uh, January the 1st. Uh, actually, uh, those eight candles are lit. The light of the world is shining. He came to his own and his own did not receive him. He was rejected. You say, wait a minute, you're, you're giving us your, your Bible. Well, that's not in our Bible. Yes, it is. Isaiah 53. He was rejected. He was a man of sorrows. He was acquainted with grief. He was despised and rejected by men. Yeshayahu, Isaiah 53, verse 3. He came to his own. And his own did not receive him. In every family, there's a scapegoat or there's somebody who is not invited to the party or somebody who's the, the, the ugly duckling in the family that is rejected. Everybody uh, speaks about this person and they're sort of shunned. And, and David warned his son, Shlomo, Solomon, if you seek him, he will be found by you. First Chronicles 28, 9. But if you forsake him, he will reject you. Listen, friend, you think it's so bad that you're rejected. We go out on the street, preach on the street. We're going to be down there on, Jan on December 25th. We're going to be down in Brighton Beach preaching. And we'll, there'll be some people that will say, get out of our neighborhood. We don't want you here. They, they will reject us. And they will reject our little pamphlets and our Bibles and, and they will tell us to get lost. But that's not the worst thing that can happen, friend. The worst thing that can happen would be what David told his son and warned Shlomo, he will reject you forever. We're talking about the Mavit Hasheni, the, the second death. Seek the Lord while he can be found. Call upon him while he's near. Uh, stop rejecting him. Receive him. Let, let him remove all the obstacles. You say, I don't have any obstacles. Oh, yes, you do. There's the wrath of God. That's an obstacle that has to be removed. Then there's also the guilt of sin. That's an obstacle. It has to be removed. And, and you know what? To as many as did receive him, to them he gave the power. Hallelujah, to remove those obstacles and to get to him. There was a woman, she had a, a, a terrible uncleanness. And, and she said, if I could just touch, his, you know, the, uh, if I could just get to him, if I could just touch him, uh, you know. And, and you know what? She pushed through the crowd. She, she made it her business to get to him. Hallelujah. Friend, here's what. Asaph or Esau didn't understand. There was good, too much is given, much is required. There was going to be a lot of suffering. Listen, yes, uh, Isaac, uh, yes, uh, you know, Yitzhak, yes, Yaakov, yes, and then the 12 sons, yes, and then the, the, the 600,000 that came out of, out of, uh, 
Egypt because of their savior, Yosef. But, but think of what was coming. The, the servant, the suffering servant, the, the light of the world. He was going to be uh, suffered and he, and he was going to suffer and he was going to make a kapora. And it was going to be a horrible rejection. He was going to say, my, my God, why hast thou rejected me? Why hast thou abandoned me? Why? He was going to take that for us, that rejection. And, and don't think that you, oh, you, you might say, oh, I, I don't need uh, your religion. I'll do my mitzvahs and I'll get to God that way. No, you won't, friend. You won't get to him that way. There is a way that seems right to a man, but that way ends in death. You have to realize that he, he came that you might have life, that you might have it more abundantly. He wants you to know him today. And, and you know, there, there were those, uh, those congregations that felt rejected. Maybe you feel rejected. A lot of people feel rejected this season. They, they're suicidal. They sit alone. They don't go uh, to their family. Their family doesn't want them. We're going to be in the homeless shelter on December the 19th, as usual. Now, on that Monday night, there are going to be people sitting there rejected. Nobody wants them. They have no place to lay their head. We're going to, we're going to tell them about the Moshiach ben Dovid, who had no place to lay his head. And we're going to, to, uh, we're going to open the door for them to know him. That's the most important thing. Uh, there were those who said, look, we reject you people. You're, you're not really Jewish. You're not part of the in group here. And so we're just going to uh, get you thrown out of town and get your shuls shut down. But what did Mashiach say? I will take those who say they are, but they aren't. And they will have to fall down at your feet and acknowledge that I have grafted you in Amen. that you that you are part of the of the Mashiach's uh, Kala his bride now I want to tell you about a gift we want to give you uh, it, it, you, you see I have an iPad here and right here on this iPad when you go to play.google.com you will get the Google Play search portal. You just type in there commentary. Here it is right here. Commentary on Hisgalus. H-I-S-G-A-L-U-S. -S. And what does that word mean? Revelation. You will get a commentary on the book of Revelation. And that's what the Lord wants to give you. We have a little Hanukkah present for you. We want you to read this book, all two, 22 chapters. We want you to see the commentary. And whenever uh, there's something that, that where, we, where we have a, an interactive thing for you, you'll be able to, to click on it and go to a, a sermon or go to some other part of the Bible or whatever. And so that, that's what the Lord, on December the 1st, this is 2016, the Holy Spirit said, I want this. And on Pearl Harbor Day, the 7th of December, it was finished, uploaded, and now there it is on Amazon, on Google Play, and also for your iPhone, on iTunes. God did this. And listen, friend, he's working very fast now. He's moving very quickly, uh, using all kinds of things. Knowledge is increasing, Daniel. Knowledge is increasing, and the Word of God is going forth everywhere. Hallelujah, even out of thin air. All of this is coming out of thin air. Who could have imagined this? Yeah. And you know what? There are about 200 and some odd countries where this stuff is going to. And it's all coming from this little chapel, ICC, right here in Staten Island. And you know what? God wants to bring you in on this. God is not rejecting you. He took your rejection. Don't you understand? Hell is rejection. Hell is eternal death. Hell is the second death. Hell is I never knew you. Hell is depart from me. And, and friend, that's what he experienced. He was the just. He died for the unjust to bring us to God. Don't miss him. 
Don't miss him at this season of the year. Don't miss him. He's here, friend. He's come for you. Hallelujah. A little child shall lead them. He came. He came for his own. He came to Beit Lechem. He was born. There was no room for him. You know what? We tell the Muslim people, we say, look, uh, they, they wouldn't make room for him. They, they said, the innkeeper said, no, there's no room here. I'm sorry, uh, the, the inn is closed, no occupancy. And he was shut out. Amen. He had to be born with the lambs. And that's how he died, with the lambs. But you know what? If you will open your heart, listen, Mr. Innkeeper, open your heart. Open, open your heart. He said, I, I stand at the door and knock. He's knocking on the door, Mr. Innkeeper. And if you will open the door and, and, and invite him to come in, then he will give you the right to become a child of God. Hallelujah. To as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become a child of God. Would you pray with me right now? Yeshua, say this with me. Yeshua ben David. Come into my heart. I believe you are the Zun Funderoi Bishter, the Son of the Most High God. Through the Holy Spirit, you want to make your, your home in my heart. My heart, Moshiach's home. Come into my heart. Forgive my sin. Put your blood on the lintels and the doorposts of my heart. Come in. Make me right with God. And I will serve you. And I'll never be alone. Because you promise I will never leave you or forsake you. You will always be with me. Even when I leave this world. And everybody said, 